Please welcome now from Maine, Antonio Harshaw. Come down. Come down. Come down. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm a sumo wrestler on a hunger strike. <laughs> oh. I'm an immigrant, but I didn't want to take anybody's job when I came to the U.S., so I decided to stick as a mime and storyteller. Right? <laughs> so it was, a, it was a while ago. It was a couple summers ago, actually, in a land far away from here called New Hampshire. I was doing a gig. It's, it's far away. <laughs> I was doing a gig in a community center, and lots of things going on in the building, huge building, like three times the size of this tent and swimming pools, and arcades, and babysitters, and children's area, and, um, and there was a performing area where I was supposed to set up to do an hour of storytelling for a summer family, summer crowd. And, I, and there was a cute little foyer to, leading to the room, and as I walked by, there was a young man there, and he was selling these virtual reality goggles, you know? And he had a big screen, I could see a whale going by, and I looked at the whale, and there's a kid there wearing one of the goggles, and he's in this underwater scape. And I was like, wow, this is exciting. You know, I want to try one of these things. So can I do it? And he said, sure. And when he's done, it's your turn. So I said, I'm going to set up quickly, and I'll come back. So I went into the room. I set up the show, sound system, backdrop. And I came back, and the goggles were available. There was nobody else there but the sales rep, young man. And uh, so I... So he said, you can go underwater, and you're going to see whales and sharks and all kinds of sea life. And, uh, and, or you can go to the city, and, and you're going to be in the city, and you're going to take an elevator, go to the top of a building, and you're going to press a button on this wand. He showed me the wand. And you're going to get to fly. I was like, fly? He's like, yes, you're just going to press a button, and you're going you're gonna to fly like Superman. I'm like, wow, this is super exciting. I mean, I learned how to fly small airplanes. Um, I, how many of you have had flying dreams when you were young? Yeah, all those dreams were all so vivid. I'm like, I had a bunch of those dreams. I'm like, I'm going to get to do it like in virtual reality. This is going to be super cool. So he handed me over the, the goggles, and they looked something like this one. And, um, and, and, and he gave me the wand, and... And he pressed the button, and I put this on, and right away, whoa! I was standing on this busy, busy city. I mean, the square and the trees, and I can see the buildings, and I'm looking around, and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> and, I, and I was like, okay, walk across the street, and you're going to get to the building where you're going to go up. I'm like, okay, press the forward button. And I press the button, and the scenery start to move. And I'm like, all right, this is nice. You know? So I'm, and I'm like, okay, I can do a little bit of mime here. And I get to the street, and the cars are coming. The, the light is green, and there's a puddle. And a car hits the puddle, and I automatically jump back. I mean, it was so real. Everything was so real. And I'm like, this is going to be amazing to fly. It's going to be out of this world. And the light went red, and I pressed the button, and I start crossing the street. And I got to the elevator. I press the second button and the elevator door open and I get inside, I turn around, elevator door shuts and it's a panoramic elevator, right? And I press the button and... And I see the city sink before me. I see the trees. I see the square where I was. I see the street where I crossed. I see the buildings coming down and there it is. And he said, all right, sir, now press the button, and the door is going to open. <laughs> press the button. <sighs> Whoa. I mean, I was 45 stories up in the air, and it was crazy to look. It was so real. I had that fuzzy feeling in my stomach, you know, and I'm just looking. And he's like, okay, all you got to do is press that forward button, and the seat is going to move towards you, and you can go like this, and you're going to go fly. Get your arms up in the air, and you're going to go fly. And just press that button. Nope. He's like, come on, sir, it's just the, you, you, you know you're not going to go fly, it's just the scenery. I'm like, I'm not pressing the button. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm frozen. I'm in shock. I'm trembling. I'm, I'm getting cold. And he's like, come on, just, just 
press the button. You can even lift one leg. I'm not lifting a leg up. I'm not getting off this elevator. And, I, and, it's, and, and here I am, the opportunity of a lifetime to go flying in virtual reality. You know, I'm awake. It's going to be like a dream, and I can't do it. And I'm like, okay, this is terrible. He's like, sir, you're standing. You know where you are. I'm like, I know where I am. I'm, 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 I'm in a community center. He's like, that's right. You're standing on, on carpeting. I'm like, I know. I can feel it. It's like, it's not a real. I know it's not a real elevator. And it's, it's a just, just, just press the button. I'm like, I'm not pressing the button. I'm not pressing the button. It's like, okay. It's like, calm down. We have an option. You can go a little higher and do what? It's like, well, there's a plank. It's about 10 feet long and about 2 feet wide. And you can walk on the plank and get used to the height. I'm like, okay. All right. Press the button, sir. I'm like, okay. Press the button. <laughs> Stopped again, pressed the button, and there's the plank, 10 feet long, 2 feet wide. He's like, okay, step on it. <laughs> Sir, just put one foot forward. That's, it's the same carpeting. You're standing on I'm like, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and I put one foot on the plank. And then I couldn't get the other foot to go. Every time I start to pass through the doorway of the elevator, every time I kept passing out, I'm like, no, 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 I can't do it. He's like, sir, it's the, it looks like a plank, but it's, the whole thing is the floor you're standing on. I'm like, I know that. You're just, I can't do this. I'm like, this is so embarrassing because I've always wanted to do this and I just can't do it. And I'm like getting nervous and I, I, I can't do it. And I'm freezing and I'm looking around and, and I have an idea. I have an idea. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. You're there. Good. Can I crawl on the plank? I'll go down on my knees and, and I will crawl on the plank. And he goes, nobody has ever done that, but you sure can try. <laughs> and I get down on my knees. And he said, just make sure everything stays on the plank. Otherwise, you're going to fall off. I'm like, fall off. I, I don't want to do that. He goes, no. I'm like, okay. So I stay on my knees and on the plank, my, my hands on the plank. I'm holding the one, so I'm walking on my wrist and knuckles on one hand, and I, and I start to, to walk on this plank ever so slowly. And I'm going, and now I, and it's like it's so hard to look down at the street down below, and I'm going forward, and, the, and, the, and it's okay. It's, it's a little shaky. I'm still nervous, but I'm, I'm doing the walk. And then I, and then I get to... I get there to the end, and I, have, I, I need to turn around, and I can't turn around because I, the plank is two feet wide. And I'm like, now I'm stuck. I'm stuck. And, and I just couldn't do it. He's like, so you can just stand. I'm not standing up. He's like, well, then you're going to have to back up. I'm like, okay, that's a good idea. I'll back up. I'll back up. And I stop backing up. And I stop backing up ever so slowly, but I'm so nervous. One of my knees goes off the plank, and everything starts rushing towards me. And I'm like, Wah! and boom, everything goes white. I'm like, everything is white. I'm still on my fours. Huh? I'm like, everything is white. He's like, well, sir, you, you're kind of dead. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, sir, it's over. Just take the goggles off. <laughs> and, and I take the goggles off. I take the goggles off. And I'm still on my force, dressed all in black like I am, like this, because I was about to do a show. And I look up, and half of my audience has been watching <laughs> All these parents with kids. One mom had her daughter's eyes closed. <laughs> There's these preteens with their cell phones and they're doing live broadcasting. 
And this boy with his dad, this boy with his dad goes, Dad, Dad, who is he? And the father goes, Son, that's the storyteller. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Josie!